We have two different ways to develop applications for web services. One of the JAX RP remote procedure call option, the other one is the JAX WS formulation. Let's look at a little comparison between these two particular methods and look at the way these two particular components will create services in the Java programming language. So we're looking at it from the JAX RP perspective. What we see here is the ability to create interfaces and those interfaces are working with the remote concept. So it's extending remote and then the method that we're implementing inside the interface, this get quote method, is going to be generating a remote exception. So this is uh, inconsistent with the concept of using remote procedure call types of development. So if we look at the JAX WS implementation, what we'll notice about the interface is the utilization of an annotation. So here we see the AMPA web service annotation. We don't see the extension of the remote class here once again. And then when we're working with the method, our get quote method here inside the interface, we no longer have to worry about the uh, creation and the throwing of the remote exception. In addition to that, if we look at the implementation side of the equation, so on the JAX RPC side, we see our class, this quote being class, implementing our stock quote interface. We see our method, our get quote method as well. If we look at it from the JAX WS perspective, what we'll see is the annotation once again, identifying this as a web service. So we have the Ampere web service annotation. We're still implementing the stock quote interface. And then down below that, we may have an Ampere web method annotation, or if we don't, then any method that's contained in this particular service, in this case the get quote, will be deemed to be a web service component. So we have a kind of a different uh, realm here, but by looking at the JAXWS implementation, by utilizing these various annotations, looking at the source code, I'll be able to tell what the interface for my service is going to be, what methods are going to be deployed via it, and I can even look at the past parameter information as well.